Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is a bell truss style called Perfect Blend, and it's in the color Chrome, which is a rooted silvery gray. Now Perfect Blend is clearly a super long, curly, heat friendly style and I'll tell you all about her in case this is a style right up your alley. You can learn all about it here. Let's go. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me this style so I could show her to all of you. I am so grateful for their partnership in bringing a lot of different styles to my wig community because I know these reviews are super important. They always were to me when I was first starting out and I knew nothing about what wigs would work for me. If you've never visited them, please go to their website, www.namebrandwigs.com. This style is linked in the description as well as a coupon code that will save you 30%. All right, let's look at Perfect Blend all the way around. I have my camera back about as far as I can get it in this little room so that you can really see the length on this one. This is what I would consider mermaid hair. It is super long. These curls and waves are just luscious. This is definitely uh, something else. <laughs> the overall length of this piece is 23 inches. It's got a variety of layers in it though. So they say generally the length is about 14 to 18 inches. Now this piece does have a center part and a lace front and it all seamlessly blends into. So sometimes uh, you get a little bit of a seam, especially on full monotops, but this one just you've got this lace front here and it blends straight back into that center part. If you are not a center part person, you know, sometimes what you can do is you can shift the wig just slightly to give it a little bit more of an off-center part that can be a little tricky with these ear tabs but I was able to shift this and I think I could wear this fairly comfortably I won't be able to get a full side part but with just a little bit of a shift you are able to get more of a side part than a center part like I said this is a super long piece and because these fibers are heat friendly you are going to have your work cut out for you in maintaining this piece if you wear it frequently. The friction that this piece will experience on your clothing is going to start to make these ends really kind of frayed and frizzy. You definitely will want to take heat to this on a regular basis, maybe even every time you wear it, if you wear it for any significant period of time to keep that at bay. When you take heat to a piece like this, you will relax this curl pattern. So I recommend maybe taking some steam to it in the beginning, just so that you can get that heat on there to, to kind of seal back up the fibers and try to preserve that curl pattern as much as possible. You can curl this though. So if you do take heat to it and you find that you are losing some of this wave pattern, you can add curl back it's a little trickier than human hair. It does require a little bit more work, but kind of the point of heat friendly fibers is the fact that it has some styling flexibility. I just want to caution you though, if you're new to wigs and you want a super long piece like this, please educate yourself on how to care for those fibers. Now this is what the center part looks like. It is fairly wide. So you have just a little bit of space in there to maybe take it a little bit off center. And then this, all of this is that lace front that gives you a beautiful hairline. We have soft ear tabs with bendable stays, an extended nape, pull adjusters, and it's open wefted throughout. Take a look at that curl pattern. It's so pretty. Now, a benefit of bell truss wigs is that they really don't use permatease. Sometimes there's a little bit of kind of crimpy fibers at the cap, but they don't use traditional poofy, pillowy permatease. So this one doesn't have any of that. It's nice and flat on the top. It has a really realistic profile. 
because of that flatness. It isn't a high density piece, although it is fairly heavy at 6.3 ounces, but that's just, I mean, mainly because of the length. It's just such a long piece. Uh, I think that they did a really good job of keeping the density really realistic. You can kind of see that in this ponytail here. The density is really realistic on this one. So it's not, well, the length may be overwhelming, the volume and the poof and all of that is really, no poof, really realistic. So I just want to stress the fact that the length is probably what's going to be a challenge versus volume, no permatease, all of that. So if you get overwhelmed by poofy wigs, this one is not at all poofy. Belle Tress is known for running big, and so this fits me really true to how Belle Tress wigs typically fit me. I find that they're fairly loose on my head if I don't cinch them in or wear a wig grip with them, but I also find them really comfortable because they don't squeeze my head at all. Bell Tress wigs generally have a great stretch, so you have a lot of stretch. I can cinch this in quite a bit. I usually refer to Bell Tress as big head friendly because I definitely think that this is a great style for, for my uh, wig sisters who maybe have more of an average large, even potentially a large cap size because of how much room I get. I do get extra cap up here as well, and you can see that. So I can wear this very comfortably, and I do wear Bell Tress wigs comfortably with a wig grip with some cinching. I have all of my measurements in the description so you can look at them to compare them to yours and see how it might fit you. Right, before we talk about color, I just want to kind of sum up and give my overall impressions. This is a really stunning piece, but if you are new to wig wearing, I really want to caution you, I don't think this is a great piece for the new wig wearer and mainly because of the fact that it has heat friendly fibers and at a length like this with a curl pattern like this, I think it's going to be a challenge to care for and maintain because it's going to take regular treatment with heat and then you could alter the curl pattern when you do that. I know a lot of people who love heat friendly wigs and I know a lot of people who wear long bell tress wigs with lots and lots of success and joy so please don't hear me say that this is a bad wig but the nature of heat friendly fibers makes them a little bit more challenging to care for on a daily basis and then when you add length and you add a curl pattern it just takes a little bit of extra time and care that's all I'm saying I just want you to be realistic if you're new to wearing wigs and you want something long like this it might be better to either go with a straight piece because those are really easy to care for and I have a video showing you how to do that. It's when the curls and waves come in that becomes a challenge. But I do love Beltress wigs and I think if you're looking for a piece that you can style, you want to be able to do like ponytails, you want to be able to do, you know, like a little twist. I like to take these and I, I'll twist them and then I'll put a clip in there and then I'll let the curls spill over. And I think that's the cutest look. I actually have a video showing how to put a long bell truss wig in an updo. I'll link that in the description. For me personally, if I were to wear this one, I would probably mostly wear it styled up. I think a wave pattern like this is so fun to style up. So that would be one way you could get a long heat friendly piece like this and try to maintain it as long as possible. It would be great for styling and Belle Tress wigs really are because they don't have all that permatease which can make styling a challenge. All right, let's talk about color. Chrome. I have shown this color in previous videos. Basically, this is a rooted silvery gray. So we've got what they call a cappuccino brown root and it's a pretty dark root. This is a fashion color. This isn't somebody who has gray hair because they would not have dark rooting like this. And then you've got a mixture of 30% gray, 10% gray, so various tones of gray, and there's white at the tip. So let me take this off. Oops, it's sticking. Both sides are sticking in my earrings. And I should probably not have worn big hoops with this one. So let's take a look at that root. That is definitely a dark root. That's very salt and pepper on the top, heavy on the pepper. This root to me is like a cool, dark brown, almost looks like a 1B. Why that's important? 
I have seen gray wigs like this that had a really warm root. And when you have a warm root next to this kind of a tone, it takes on a reddish tone. This does not have a reddish tone. It really makes me think of a 1B, which is a soft black. That's what that looks like to me. They call it cappuccino brown, so they didn't use a 1B, I, I guess. In, in their description, it doesn't say that they did, but it definitely looks like that to me. And then it's just a beautiful, there's a little bit of a salt and pepper effect going through this, a little bit. But it's mainly like a silvery white gray. That's what this looks like. It's bright. It's really pretty. If you like fashion grays, I think this is a great fashion gray. But if you're looking for a gray because your hair is kind of a, a whitish gray and you want something to match your bio hair, I think the root might be the challenge. I do have a video where I show you how you can take blonde root touch-up powder and you can lighten a root with it. It's not permanent, it just covers it, but it works really well. I will link that video in the description in case you wanna try one like this, you just aren't sure if you can handle the root. I think if you use a little blonde root touch of powder that will actually, it won't eliminate it, but it will lighten it a fair amount. All right, everybody, let's get outside so that you can see this color outside. Thank you once again, Name Brand Wigs, for sending me this one so I could show everybody. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Right, this is chrome in bright sunlight. And it's quite windy out here too. Make sure you can get that root. Getting this as far away as I can. My arms aren't long enough for the length of this. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. All right, it's unboxing time. Let's take a look at Perfect Blend out of the box. Now they put a lot of packing in these long wigs to try to help keep their shape and I think they do a pretty good job. Now, of course, in these unboxings, you've seen a lot of this. So really the point of this is just to see what you might have to deal with out of the box. And I really think this is a cute one out of the box, really with no permities and long lengths, you don't find as much detrimental box hair. And by that, I mean box hair that makes it hard to know if you're going to like the wig because you know you can't do anything with it until you decide to keep it. So I do think you'll know on this one really quickly. Thank you.